And uh, the only way to get a finale car is to be there at the finale. And if you have a ticket. So this is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. Everybody, welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today I've got the 2020 Hot Wheels Collectors Convention cars from the LA show that we weren't allowed to go to this year because of COVID. We uh, also missed out on the Charlotte, North Carolina show in April because of COVID. Um, but we were able to get the cars and anyone who did have a ticket were able to get cars. Now Mark and Jennifer Milholland who run the uh, Collectors Events Unlimited, uh, they take care of everybody who um, who has a ticket. Everybody who uh, comes to the events, great people, um, and they are just uh, amazing at making sure that everybody gets taken care of. And of course, all of the people that volunteer at the events uh, also. So um, the cars that we have, we were able to get because we have tickets. Everyone that had a ticket was able to purchase these cars. Um, you were able to buy three of each car. And if you had a dinner ticket, you also were able to purchase the dinner car. Um, and this here is the finale car, which uh, you get uh, for free when you have a ticket and you stick around for the finale on Saturday night. So you also have the opportunity to get patches for the cars um i don't remember how long they've been doing the patches so uh but yeah it's pretty cool so let's uh start with the uh, nissan hard body and this is a pretty cool truck um if anybody's a mini trucker you know that this is definitely a uh a truck that everybody goes bananas and has gone bananas over in the past. Actually, my my good friend Chris Walker uh, loves this truck. This uh, is the 34th Annual Hot Wheels Collectors Convention uh, 93 Nissan D21 Hard Body Custom Pickup. Uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. It is uh, done in white. Has uh, I you know I, I love the the red and blue. Uh, racing tampos on these, you know, always brings me back to watching them, you know, on, on TV when I was a kid. Uh, the interior on this is a very dark maroon. Windows are smoked very, very dark. The base is uh, done in white pearl. It's a metal base, metal body, and uh, the the detail on this is, is, is so, so nice. The front grille is done. It's got a, a license plate on the front. And on that front license plate is the name Robles. And that is for the family that volunteers for the events, whether it's the convention or the nationals. That is uh, Barb and David and Jonathan Robles. So uh, that's a great honor to have their name on the front of this car. Nicely, nicely done. Uh, along the, the tailgate, uh, it, it says the convention and the date. As far as I remember, they go, you know, all the way back. So uh, this has uh, chrome five spokes on it. They're really, really cool. Uh, they look like, I don't know what they look like, uh, but they are they are really, really nice. Uh, they're open five spokes. and They're not OH5s, but they're just a, a, a nice custom five spoke. Looks maybe like a... Uh, um, a C5 Corvette wheel. I'm not sure. Uh, and of course, they all have rubber tires on them. Um, nice detail in the back. I don't know if they are air tanks for for the suspension. Uh, the blue one might be a nitrous, but I doubt it. Not for a, not for a low riding mini truck. Uh, so they're probably just air tanks, and uh, they look pretty cool. The uh, frame is notched in the back. Got a C notch on it. And that is done in white pearl. So where is the white pearl coming in? Um, it's definitely not the interior. 
So yeah, just the just the uh, wheel tubs and uh, and the chassis notch. So yeah, it is a good looking truck. There was no patch for this one. Next one up, one of my all time favorites. Did I say all time? All time. All right. Always wanted a 41 Willys Gasser, always. Since I was a little, little kid and I saw uh, Stonewoods and Cook. Unbelievable. Anybody who knows anything about Willys Gassers and Stonewoods and Cook, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So <clears throat> this thing is beautiful. Nice candy apple red paint job on it. Got a gold base on it, I'm sure. Uh, actually, I, I, what I mean is gold base in the paint. Gold um, then the candy red, and then clear over it. My wife's new car is like that. I pray that nothing ever happens to that truck, knock on wood, because it's going to be crazy money to fix that paint. Um, this is, again, like I said, candy apple red. It's got a tilt front end on it. It's got a beautiful supercharged Hemi uh, with zoomies on it coming out, uh, coming out behind the front wheels. The interior is uh, red, and uh, well, I can see a red steering wheel, but it looks like the the uh, seats are black. The base is painted silver. The wheels look like uh, early torque thrusts, and they are uh, gray and with rubber tires. Wheels on the front are really, really skinny, and uh, they look like they look like they might be torque thrusts or something like that. Uh, but yeah, they have slicks on the back, rubber tires, and skinny rubber tires on the front. Uh, tampos on this thing are absolutely beautiful, of course. And uh, it is just, you know, I, I, I can't say enough about the car. I mean, I would love to just jump in this thing and, and, and take it for a ride. But uh, it is very, very well detailed. Um, again, on the, on the trunk lid, it says the date of the convention and where it was. The grill is done. The headlights are done. I know, there's, like I said, there's lots and lots of de detail on these. And I believe our friend uh, Van, Steve Vandervate, uh, did all of the, the graphics on these things. Uh, and this does have a patch to go with it. Um, now, they didn't, patches don't come with it. Uh, you buy the patches separately. But uh, you are, the patches are available to go with that car. And speaking of Steve Vandervate, Van the man... This, uh, the, the dinner was supposed to be in honor of Steve Vandervate. Really cool guy. Uh, really, um, an, an amazing artist, okay, to, just to say the least. Uh, and this was his dinner car, is his dinner car. Uh, it says 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, of course, designed by our friend uh, Brennan Vitusky. Uh, this is done in white. Enamel has uh, blue highlights all over it. Says uh, uh, Dutch Courage on the side. Has a uh, supercharged, uh, probably a big block in there, and uh, it is really, really beautiful. Basic, uh, basically the same as all of the other gassers, just uh, just different graphics. The base is chrome, and uh, interior is a light blue to go with to go with the uh, tampos on the side. Windows are lightly tinted. The uh, radiator top is in a light blue. The gasser fuel tank that's strapped to the to the front there is done in light blue also. The um, headlights are done. The front directionals are done. The taillights, of course, are, are, are really well done. Has a license plate on the back, an old California black and uh, orange or black and yellow license plate. And again, it has the date of the show on the back. Slicks on it. And uh, this looks like it might have rocket wheels on the back. And of course, the front has the, uh, the gasser style wheels. Uh, I'm going to have to find the name of those wheels because uh, you know, every time we do a gasser, those wheels are on it, right? Okay. So it, uh, like I said, the interior is nice light blue, uh, and it says uh, Dutch Courage on the side. And this, too, has a patch to go along with it. It says, Evening with Steve Vanderbilt, October 8th, 
2020 and uh, we didn't make it so there you go last one up is the finale car and uh, the only way to get a finale car is to be there at the finale and if you have a ticket so this is the Volkswagen T1 panel bus and it is done in a beautiful candy blue on the bottom got a red stripe and uh, white on the top looks like the flying colors remember the flying colors back in the 70s 75 76 really really nice wheels are a nice set of chrome import style uh, base on it is painted silver metal base and the headlights are done the whole front end is done really really well and the rear end is done also california license plate the black and yellow or black and orange um and let's see what else on this i can't see the interior i'm going to guess that it's probably black or maybe dark maroon i really really can't see it so uh, if you guys have one open and you can see what what the interior is you know put in the comments below windows are very very dark smoked um and of course you know uh, i don't know if you know or not but all of these have a sticker on the back a hologram sticker saying how many are normally done um, this one they made 4500 of these and uh, mine is 1162 all right um the uh, the the hard body they made um 6700 and mine is 1101 the dinner car um, they made 5,500, and my number is 54.55. So 55 for the 55, right? Uh, normally, the dinner cars, when you have your, uh, your dinner ticket, um, the dinner car that you get with your dinner ticket has a sticker over here that says um, an evening with whomever it was, and there would be a dinner car uh, sticker that says an evening with Steve Vanderbilt. So I wasn't there. We didn't have dinner. So uh, didn't get a sticker. All right. Okay. Uh, and the 55, uh, not the 55, the 41 Willys. The uh, number of those is 6,700. And mine is 29.99. So there you go. Here are all four of the uh, 2020 Hot Wheels collectors convention cars um, and uh, hopefully next year 2021 we will all be together and be able to uh, to see each other have dinner together and get our cars together so that's it thanks for watching Hot Wheels TV appreciate it please make sure you share our videos tell your friends please subscribe click that bell so you know every time we get another uh, video out there and of course, please be kind to one another. So until the next time we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV, you guys take care of yourselves. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.